Good morning, everyone. When the Jewish people crossed over the Red Sea, they sang a song of praise to God. And the Torah tells us that Vayaminu Bahashem Uvamosha Abdo, that the Jewish people believed in God, had faith in God and Moses his servant. And the question is why now? Didn't they witness ten plagues in Egypt? Why didn't they have faith in God and in Moses his servant after witnessing the ten miraculous plagues? Why only now after the splitting of the sea? And the Chafetz Chaim explains that most logical, reasonable human beings look around the world and they see this awesome, magnificent creation and they believe that there is a God. But the question that people often question or doubt is whether God knows about my personal challenges and struggles, whether God hears my personal prayer, whether God knows about my individual plight. Is God just supervising and managing the fears of the entire world? Or does God care about me as an individual? And here the Chafetz Chaim says that when it comes to the Song of the Sea, we find three different descriptions about how the Egyptians drowned in the sea. One description is that they drowned kakash, like straw. Second one is ke'aven, like a stone. And the third one is ke'iferis, like lead. And Rashi explains why these three descriptions. And Rashi explains that not all Egyptians were equally cruel. Some were actually crueler than others. And so those who were just cruel went down like lead, quick death. Those who were crueler, they went like a stone, which is a slow death. They drowned slowly. And the cruelest Egyptians drowned like straw, which keeps on bobbling up and down, up and down, gasping for air, thinking they may be saved, but then going back under the water again until they finally drowned. And it's when the Jews saw that God took note, not just of their suffering collectively, but each individual Jew and how they suffered under their particular cruel taskmaster. And God empathized with the pain of every individual Jew and punished and recompensed each Egyptian according to their deserving punishment. That's when they had faith, not just in God as the ruler of the world, but of their individual God. And that's why each one said, Zek Heli, this is my God. Van Veil, I will glorify him. Because each one realized that God is their personal God. There's a rabbi in Woodmere, New York. His name is Rabbi Moshe Weinberger. A wonderful, inspiring rabbi. And he tells a story that when he was a young man learning in yeshiva, he was going through a challenge, a crisis, a depression. He was having a hard time. And one day he called his father. Now his father had a dry cleaner store. And he called his father during the day to talk to his father. And his mother picked up the phone. And he said, I would like to speak to daddy, to Abba. And his mother said, look, he's busy in the store with customers. Maybe call back another time. And he said, I really need to speak to him now. So she said, wait a minute. A moment later, the father picked up the store, the phone, and spent 45 minutes with him on the phone, listening to him, encouraging him, loving him, supporting him. And after he hung up, he went back. He felt so much better. And he came home in the evening. His mother said to him, you know, Moshe, in the future, you shouldn't call during the day because daddy is busy in the store. And there were customers in the store. And what daddy had to do to take your call was he had to close the front door of the store, lock the store, and go into the back and talk to you for 45 minutes while the door was closed. Moshe Weinberger, the young man, felt really bad. So he went over to his father and he apologized. He said, Abba, I'm sorry for calling you during the day. I didn't realize you had so many customers and you had to lock the store to talk to me for 45 minutes. In the future, I won't call again. His father looked at him and said, please, call whenever you need me. And then he said to his son, why do you think I go to work in the first place? I only go to work for you. So if you need me, that's much more important than any work I'm doing. When we look around this beautiful world, when we look at God's creations, we should remember every moment. Why do you think God made the world in the first place? He made it all for us because he loves us. We should never doubt for a minute that God cares about each and every one of us as individuals. And God, like a loving father, will be there and is always there for every one of us in our time of need. Have a Shabbat Shalom.